More than half a million humans are buried in the heart of Brooklyn. Whether it was famous people like Leonard Bernstein and Jean-Michel Basquiat. Or those time has forgotten, like the headstone Greenwood Cemetery historian Jeff Richmond leans over now. It's one he recently found, Margaret Pine, the last slave in New York. Sold while still an infant, she belonged to a wealthy family, the Van Zants. The Van Zants then proceed to have 11 children, all of whom are men, are boys, mm -hmm. and she is the nurse to these children. After the boys had grown, Margaret wished to leave the farm in Little Neck and live in the city, working for wages. Her owners gave her permission and were willing to free her from slavery. But with her new freedom, she refused. She had said in response to that offer, I gave you and your family the best years of my life and now it's your responsibility to take care of me. Margaret remained a slave so the Van Zants would still have that legal obligation to take care of her until the day she died at 80 years old. The family arranged for her funeral and her burial and for this stone to be placed in her honor. So when Greenwood's team came across this tombstone, it was actually in the ground and they could hardly read it, but they used this technique where they actually rubbed out the words. Margaret Pine across the top and then it says a slave. The research team also found an article in a local newspaper that spoke of her death and named her New York's last slave. But Margaret was more than just property. The newspaper writes she was a faithful Christian up until her death. Van Zandt family had discussions with her about where she wanted to be buried. Mm -hmm. And she said it really was not a matter that she was concerned about. That as far as she was concerned, it was the soul that was important. Her obituary concludes she lived like a sincere Christian and died like one, cheerful and without a struggle to the last. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.